There are these animals that came from off-world. These are untouchables. NASA, well known for its basic exposures, has indeed revealed that this new planet isn't just charming, taking into account the truth of its size and region, yet moreover considering the reality that it shows lights that have each one of the stores of being fake. Are we for all intents and purposes uncovering insider genuine realities that could change our perspective on the universe? Could this disclosure eventually mean there is life on different planets? Go with us as we see NASA's captivating divulgences and uncover the truth concerning these bewildering lights. In 2007, NASA conveyed the first light rocket with a mission to research the most charming objects in our close by planetary system. Dawn was marvelously equipped with three ion engines, allowing it to embark on a remarkable journey. Dawn's excursion started with a 14-month assessment of Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the belt. During this time, Dawn sent back detailed pictures and data, revealing Vesta's confounding surface and different land accounts. Following completing its primary target at Vesta, Dawn set out on the second, and perhaps most captivating, part of its mission a close evaluation of the Dwarf Planet series. Considering its ion engines, Dawn had the option to leave Vesta's orbit and set out on a mission to reach Ceres, an achievement that traditional chemical drive would have found challenging. These engines, giving a constant, gentle push, empowered Dawn to travel vast distances efficiently and enter a stable orbit around Ceres. First tracked down in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. For a long time, it was considered the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system, until its renaming in 2006. With a diameter of around 950 kilometers, Ceres is the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt, and one of the most interesting because of its unique characteristics. As dawn approached Ceres, specialists eagerly anticipated the first detailed photographs of the strange world. They saw bright spots dispersed across its surface, most strikingly in a large depression now known as a pitted crater. These bright spots ignited brief interest and speculation among scientists. Before Dawn's mission, the best picture we had of Ceres was a blurry, low-resolution photograph taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Researchers knew very little about this dwarf planet, and the opportunity of finally getting a close-up view was exciting. What mysteries would Ceres reveal? What new discoveries awaited the mission? Dawn promised to improve how we might understand the nearby planetary system's evolution and the role of water in shaping planetary bodies. The bright spots on Ceres were unlike anything seen on other asteroids. They appeared to be made of highly reflective material, perhaps salts left behind by sublimated water. This raised the possibility of cryovolcanism on Ceres a process where volcanoes emit water or briny liquids instead of molten rock. However, what exactly are these mysterious lights, and what do they reveal about Ceres? Could they be evidence of ongoing geological activity, or something far more extraordinary? Ceres stands apart from other celestial bodies in the asteroid belt due to its size, mass, composition, and potential for water and ice. Unlike most rocky asteroids, Ceres has a composition more like a comet, suggesting it holds more secrets about the early solar system than we ever imagined. After two years on its journey, the Dawn spacecraft finally began its approach to Ceres in mid-2015. This milestone marked a significant achievement in the mission, as Dawn was able to deliver humanity's first close-up views of the largest object in the asteroid belt. As Dawn drew nearer, the images of Ceres became progressively detailed, offering brief glimpses of a world previously shrouded in mystery. The first images revealed a surface speckled with craters, indicative of a long history of impacts. However, it wasn't just the craters that grabbed the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Among these features were unusual bright spots that stood out sharply against the darker, rough terrain. As the photos continued to improve in resolution, Scientists buzzed with hypotheses about the nature of these bright spots. Were they ice patches reflecting sunlight, or could they be something even more intriguing? Speculations ranged from mineral deposits to possible signs of cryovolcanic activity. Closer inspection revealed that the brightest spot was not a singular feature, but rather possibly a mix of several distinct regions. 
This discovery only deepened the mystery. The hypothesis that these were deposits of salts left behind by sublimating water gained traction. This would suggest that Ceres had, or still has, some form of geological activity capable of moving water or briny liquids to the surface, where they quickly evaporate, leaving behind bright reflective deposits. These discoveries challenged existing theories about Ceres, revealing it to be a more complex and dynamic world than previously thought. The presence of such features raised the possibility of subsurface water or briny pockets, which could have significant implications for our understanding of the potential for life in our solar system. But what makes Ceres so important compared to other planets? Ceres is an intriguing world, often described as a cold planet with a harsh but fragile surface. Unlike most asteroids in the belt, which are composed primarily of rock and metals, Ceres stands out because of its unique composition. Its surface is a mixture of water ice and hydrated minerals, including clays and carbonates, which gives it a significantly less dense structure compared to its neighbors. This composition suggests that Ceres contains a large amount of water. The surface layer is rough but permeable, with ice and other volatiles trapped inside. This cold characteristic is more reminiscent of a comet than a typical asteroid, hinting at a history that may have involved a mixture of rocky and icy materials. Digging deeper beneath its surface, Ceres reveals even more intriguing aspects of its structure. The dwarf planet is believed to have a differentiated interior consisting of a slushy mantle and a core. The mantle is thought to be rich in water ice, making up about half of Ceres' total volume. This mantle, possibly a mix of rock and salty water, surrounds a core that may be made of denser material, possibly silicates. The presence of such a large amount of water ice suggests that Ceres may have once held liquid water, especially if its core was heated by radioactive decay in its early history. This internal structure sets Ceres apart from its asteroid neighbors and also raises interesting questions about its potential for geological activity and the role of water in its evolution. However, that's not all. The discovery of ammonia clays on Ceres suggests that the dwarf planet may have formed in a colder part of the solar system before migrating inward. The presence of ammonia lowers the freezing point of water, supporting the idea of subsurface brines. These insights into Ceres' structure and history not only enhance our understanding of this fascinating dwarf planet, but also provide critical clues about the processes that govern the formation and evolution of icy bodies throughout the planetary system. Cryovolcanism is an intriguing and somewhat colorful geological process, especially when compared to the more familiar volcanic activity we see on Earth. Unlike traditional volcanoes that erupt molten rock, cryovolcanoes, also known as ice volcanoes, eject volatiles like water, ammonia, or methane. These substances can exist as liquids or gases in the extremely cold environments where cryovolcanoes are found. On Ceres, Cryovolcanoes work by allowing water mixed with dissolved salts to reach the surface. When this briny water interacts with the vacuum of space, it rapidly evaporates, changing directly from a solid or liquid state to a gas, leaving behind bright reflective salt deposits. These salt deposits form the mysterious bright spots seen on Ceres' surface. The most famous of these bright spots is located in a crater known as a cater, specifically in an area referred to as Spot 5. This location has attracted significant attention due to its high reflectivity and unusual fogs observed by the Dawn spacecraft. These fogs are believed to be caused by the sublimation of water, suggesting that cryovolcanic activity may still be ongoing or may have occurred relatively recently. Furthermore, Ceres has several other bright spots, each with its own unique properties. These spots are not confined to one region but are distributed across the dwarf planet's surface indicating that cryovolcanism may be a widespread phenomenon on Ceres. The presence of these bright spots highlights the extraordinary nature of Ceres and raises important questions about the potential for life in our solar system. The dynamic and evolving nature of Ceres challenges previous assumptions that it was a geologically dead world. As the Dawn spacecraft provided more detailed images of Ceres, a wealth of surface features began to emerge. The outer surface of Ceres is pitted with various craters, each telling a story of the dwarf planet's history. Some craters are relatively shallow and eroded, showing an ancient surface that has been subjected to numerous impacts over billions of years. 
Others are better preserved with sharp edges and deep bowls, suggesting more recent impacts. Interestingly, the number of craters on Ceres is fewer than initially expected, which could indicate that geological processes may be resurfacing the planet and erasing evidence of older impacts. One theory is that Ceres' icy surface allows for a type of cryovolcanic resurfacing, where subsurface materials occasionally well up and cover older features. This ongoing geological activity suggests that Ceres is not a static world, but one that has been, and may still be, actively evolving. Additional evidence of surface deformation on Ceres comes from the observation of cracks, ridges, and faults on its surface. These features indicate that Ceres' crust has experienced significant stress and stretching. Some of the cracks appear to be relatively young, perhaps only a few hundred million years old. Such features imply that the dwarf planet has undergone episodes of internal heating, likely caused by radioactive decay or tidal interactions with nearby celestial bodies. This combination of features, bright spots, craters, and surface deformation, suggests that Ceres has experienced a complex history of geological processes, including the potential for both past and ongoing cryovolcanism. These discoveries are not just important for understanding Ceres, but they also expand our understanding of planetary evolution and the potential for life beyond Earth. Could Ceres' icy surface and subsurface water hold the keys to extraterrestrial life? The evidence remains inconclusive, but it is clear that Ceres is a world full of surprises and mysteries still waiting to be uncovered. In conclusion, the bright spots of Ceres offer a tantalizing glimpse into the complex and evolving nature of this dwarf planet. With its potential for cryovolcanic activity, subsurface water, and geological resurfacing, Ceres is more than just a frozen relic of the early solar system. It is a dynamic world, one that challenges our assumptions and opens up exciting new avenues for exploration. As the Dawn spacecraft continues its observations, it may yet reveal more secrets hidden beneath the icy surface of this distant world. The journey to uncover the mysteries of Ceres is far from over. The Dawn spacecraft, having completed its mission, continues to provide critical data that will keep researchers busy for years to come. But even though the spacecraft has now moved on to other missions, the legacy of its exploration of Ceres lives on. As scientists continue to analyze the data sent back by Dawn, new discoveries may surface, offering fresh insights into the nature of this dwarf planet. The bright spots, cryovolcanic activity, and complex surface features observed by Dawn challenge our assumptions about how celestial bodies evolve, especially in cold, distant regions of our solar system.